Greetings and welcome <clears throat> to another episode of Preserve Ladies. Ideally, I would have waited until I was in better health again to make this video, but this is a rare appointment for me, rare opportunity for me to try to be relevant, so I had to take the chance while it existed. Uh, there's a show out now called Stranger Things, or maybe it's a movie, I, I, I don't know if it's a movie or a show, but at any rate, apparently it's rather popular, and it's connected to a lot of 80s-related things. Uh, notice at Burger King, they brought back the old logo for the cups, but more importantly, they brought back what you're about to see in here. limited time only, new coke is back. Now if you don't remember when new coke was launched, it was quite a sensation. There was a whole Pepsi challenge if you remember that, the blind taste test, and Pepsi was gaining customers, coke was losing them. What did coke do? They created new coke. For a while, everybody was happy until they found out the well. Let me re retract that statement. Before New Coke was released, everyone was happy in taste tests when they tried New Coke versus Coke Classic. But then, when it was announced that there was an actual New Coke coming out, everyone fell to pieces. There were protests, suicide threats, all sorts of insane things happened. And speaking of insane, even if we knew nothing of Bill Cosby and the disturbing things that we now know about him, this new Coke commercial will send shivers down your spine. Attention Pepsi drinkers, introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola, the best Coca-Cola ever. That's all I'm going to say. In fact, that's all I have to say. No more words. This stuff is great. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm sorry. Whew. Well, that was something, wasn't it? I wasn't joking before when I spoke of the suicide. Uh, in Atlanta, the suicide prevention hotline was... Uh, very busy. Uh, things got severe enough that after a few days they made a national, nationally televised uh, news bulletin interrupting what was on TV to say that they were bringing back old Coke, calling it Coca-Cola Classic, which is why, as you may remember, for a number of years it said that on the bottles and cans of Coke New Coke and Coke Classic existed side by side for a few years before they pulled New Coke off the shelves in America. It remained available under the name Coke 2 in some other countries in the 90s, but then it was gone. I felt it was a shame. I actually preferred the taste of New Coke. So for the first time in probably about 28 years, well, probably close to 30 years, I'll be trying new Coke. If you've never had an esophageal spasm, be grateful. It's very, very painful. Uh, it slowed me up a bit, but it was well worth it. Uh, that is as good as I remember. It's a little bit warmer than it should be. Thankfully, I have a backup can that I'll save for later. But it does not betray my memories. It's new Coke as I remember it. And I have another thing to show you as well, which we will first introduce by way of a classic commercial. Sugar free 
So here we are. Tab. You may have noticed the lead cheerleader in that commercial toward the end, the one who was on the crutches. That was L Lori Laughlin, the woman who played the aunt on Full House. Uh, the name escapes me at the moment. Uh, has some cognitive uh, issues with this <clears throat> with the condition that I'm dealing with at the moment. Uh, memory is not as sharp as usual, but at any rate, she should should have stuck with the world of tab instead of uh, college tuition fraud. Tab will always steer in the right direction. Tab is a uh, unheralded soda. It's it doesn't get the fanfare of other diet drinks. But thankfully, uh, the Coca-Cola company does have the proper foresight and knowledge and intelligence and conscious conscience to keep it around. You're not my diet anything. You're my tab. It's as true now as it was when it was first stated in the commercial 34 years ago. 34 years ago. That commercial actually aired concurrently with the new Coke. Even though it began two years earlier, they ran it for a few years. So these two were advertised at the same time. Well, that's really about all there is to say. So if you have the opportunity to do so, I would suggest buying some new coke now while you can before it disappears again we may have to wait another three decades to get it back and by that point who knows if the health nazis will allow us to have any form of soda at all so that is uh, my advice to you farewell and enjoy new coke and tab and whatever soft drink pleasures you happen to find in life